Well, tonight these delegates will get their first look at the ticket that they have chosen to try to take back the White House six months from today. Vice presidential nominee Mike Pence will address this convention, and Donald Trump will join him on the podium. Here's our chief White House correspondent, Major Garrett. Donald Trump swooped over the Cleveland skyline in a corporate helicopter for a return to the convention city and a rendezvous with running mate Mike Pence before the Indiana governor's acceptance speech tonight. And I'm convinced what begins in Cleveland will end in the White House. Before the helicopter came the Trump corporate jet, which flew distractingly over a Ted Cruz event. That was pretty well orchestrated. Trump's family met him at the landing zone, where he praised their speeches. Kids, congratulations. Fantastic job. Thank you very much. Not present and not mentioned, wife Melania, whose Monday speech lifted from Michelle Obama's 2008 Democratic Convention address. Your word is your bond that you do what you say you're going to do. Your word is your bond and you do what you say. Media interests led Trump to exaggerate on Twitter today, saying Melania's was the most publicized speech in political history. From the beginning, campaign chairman Paul Manafort has dismissed the story as a non-event, pretending similarities didn't exist and Melania's speech stood on its own. There was nothing that, that uh, she did in that speech that she thought was anybody's words but herself. But today, an employee of the Trump business organization, Meredith McIver, said in a statement she took notes from Melania, who said she'd always liked Michelle Obama and rewrote a draft of the speech, borrowing from the first lady. McIver said she offered to resign, but Trump turned her down. That was the fourth explanation offered in the speech saga. First, Melania told NBC she mostly wrote it herself. Then the campaign said a team of writers worked on it. Then two speechwriters from the George W. Bush White House said they submitted a draft that was rewritten. And finally, today's explanation. George W. Bush's chief speechwriter, Mike Gerson, said the story matters because it speaks to disorganization within Trump world. It was a mid-level problem um, that turned larger because of the ineffectiveness of the campaign itself. They proved they couldn't do uh, crisis management when it really mattered. Outside the arena, protests resulted in at least 10 arrests as mounted police moved in on flag burning and other demonstrations just outside the security perimeter. Scott, one police officer suffered a minor injury and we are told that number of arrests could well rise. Major Garrett, thanks. Those protests have been quite a bit smaller and less violent than had been feared at the beginning. Major Garrett on the floor of the convention.